Read for me. Ready? Go. One day. first sentence in our story. Okay, teachers, we did several days here, right? Okay, we did our planning of our story, 15 minutes, wherever you are in the story, you stop, you continue planning the next day. Then, after you have your story planned out, each day you're going to write one of these sentences. And then when we're done writing this, okay, did you notice? If my timer went off after 15 minutes, wherever I'm in the sentence, I'll just finish writing out the rest of the sentence for the day. Then we're going to write it in our big book and have a picture to go with it. So each day we have a picture. You are going to love this. This is so exciting. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to this board right here. And together we're going to write a story. What are we going to do, everybody? We're going to write a story. What is your name? Carson, can I do what you just did? I didn't love what you just did. I bet you are a great writer. Carson goes like this. He goes, yes. Can we all do that? Ready? Go. Yes. Let's all look at Carson and say, thanks, Carson. Thanks, He's a nice friend, isn't he? Okay, my friends, now watch what we're going to do. I am going to tell you about special steps that you take to write a story. Now, everyone put your hands together and vote. If I learn the steps, I can write my own story. If I learn the steps, I can write my own story. You say that. Ready? Go. If I learn the steps, I can write my own story. So it is important to learn steps. Yes, you need to learn the steps. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend like over here, oops, let me get my other marker. Do you know my marker didn't work and not one person said anything? They just waited patiently. It's like they're grown-ups in this class. Huh? So watch me, my friends. This is what we're going to do. Over here are the steps. And then here is where I'm going to plan my story. So right here are the yes. steps, and right here is where we're going to plan our story. story. Now, put your hands together then, and everybody, what's important? Is it going to be the story or the steps today? The steps. So let's do it again. Ready, everyone? Go. If I learn the steps, I can write my own story. And everyone go, yes. yes. Okay, here we go. All right, everyone say, step one. Step one. Now, I want you to put your, your hand on your hip. And I want you to point at me, and I want you to go like this, say, get organized. Get organized. Okay, okay, to get organized, I need to have two parts to my steps. Put your hands together, and I need to first do a story opening. What do I need? Story opening. And then I need actions, 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 till the story's done. I need actions, 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 till the story's done. What are the two parts to the story? Everyone tell me, go. Story opening, and then actions, 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 till the story's done. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to get organized for the opening. Oh, man, you already knew that. All right, watch how easy it is to organize for the story opening. I put a line across here, and I put a line there. I need how many boxes for my story opening? Two. Two, Two. boxes. All right, so let's figure out what we put in box one. First thing I put in box one is my character. So everyone say, step two. Step two. Say, character. Character. Who's in my story? Who's in my story? A person or an animal? A person or an animal. Okay. You and me may be just a little bit excited. Oh, she's okay. Would you like to talk to each other the way I have fifth graders talk to each other? Yeah. Okay, please watch. What's your name? Nicholas, could you turn around, face the group, come sit right next to me like you and I are buddies. Okay, now watch what I'm going to do. Wow, you should see yourselves like that. People are really watching because they want to look like fifth graders. I'm very impressed. Now, Nicholas, when I say, boys and girls, when I say turn to your buddy, watch what this looks like. Ready? Nicholas, put your hands on the ground, and you're going to swivel towards me, just like this. Then we lean in and we talk to each other. When I say stop, do you keep talking? Everyone go, no. Say, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Fifth graders wouldn't do that, would they? No, when the teacher says stop, then what do you do? Turn around, hands back in your lap. Are we ready? Yeah. First of all, can we say thanks, Nicholas? Thanks, Nicholas. Thanks, big guy. Go back to your spot. Now, Nicholas, I'm going to show, what's your name? Sebastian. Sebastian. I'm going to buddy everybody up. Should anybody be moving or saying who their buddy is? Everybody go, no. No. I'm just going to say who your buddy is. When I say who your buddy is, watch what happens when you're in fifth grade. 
turn to your, you two are gonna be buddies, you turn to each other and you go like this. Give each other a thumbs up. You two are gonna be buddies, give each other a thumbs up. Look at how they smile, you two are buddies. I love it, you two are buddies. You two are buddies. Right here, you two, right here. You two are gonna be buddies. You two are gonna be buddies. Ready, you two are buddies. You two are buddies. Look how you give it a thumbs up, do you see that? Can I just stop for a minute? That was the biggest smile. Look at you two, you're like, not only a smile, but a love it. You two are, ooh, you know what? We're gonna have an odd one, huh? I'm gonna make you three buddies. Look at me, right here, you three, that's tough. Everyone go, ooh, yes. Everyone go, wow, that's high level. Give each other a thumbs up, go. Ready, you two are buddies, look at me. You two are buddies, turn your buddy. You two are buddies, ready? Go, smile, thumbs up, you got it. Oh, that's kind of a neat idea, he went like that. Can we all do that to our buddy, go. Good idea. All right, turn and face forward, please. Here we go. Ready? Everyone say step two. Step two. Say character. Character. Who's in my story? Who's in my story? A person or an animal. A person or an animal. Turn to your buddy and tell them who's in your story. Go. All right, let me see if they know to stop. Stop and turn around. Go. Oh my goodness, look at people just stopped and are turning around. Oh my goodness, people just stopped and turned around. I love it. Now, I'm going to pick a name, and that person gets to decide who our character is in our story. What do we do as a class? We go like this. So we're all going to be working together. Are we ready? Okay, my friend, Sierra. Sierra. Where's Sierra? What animal? what animal will be in our story, Sierra? What animal do you want? A um, a lamb. Everyone go, great idea. Great idea. All right, now watch what I'm doing. I'm drawing the lamb very quickly in the picture, okay? Should I just do this? Here's That's my lamb. A good lamb. <laughs> All right, there's my lamb. All right, now everybody say step three. Step three. Say setting. Setting. Now put your hand on your wrist like you're looking at a watch and say, when is the story happening? When is the story happening? Say, where is the story happening? Where is the story happening? All right, now I'm going to ask someone something. Are we ready? Jared, where are you? Jared's not here. Yeah, have to wait. Claire C. Um, Claire C? Claire. Claire, what, when is the story going to happen? Now, watch what happens when you have a win. See how everybody has their hands in their lap? What we're going to do is, when we say win, it could be weather. Like it could be a rainy day, winter day, sunny day, windy day. Uh, it could no, be season. No. Well, look how just Claire is talking right now because it's her turn. I love how people are waiting. No. Or you could say winter, spring, summer, fall, or daytime, nighttime. When do you want it to happen? Daytime. Daytime. Okay. So everybody say one day. One day. Where is he, this little sheep going to be? This lamb going to be? Uh, oh, look how only. I love how everyone's waiting, and everyone's kind of looking at her, too. That's what fifth graders would do. They would look nicely. Out on the field. Out on the field. Can we say it like that, too? Everyone go like this. Say, one day. One day. Out on the field. Out on the field. A lamb. A lamb. Okay, so let me put the field there. Now, everybody go like this, and everybody say, action. Action. Say, what's the lamb doing out on the field? What's the lamb doing? my action box. Now I have to figure out. Now hold on one second. Shall we make it interesting? Yeah. Everyone go, make it interesting. Make it interesting. All right. Let's make it interesting. Are we ready? Pick a card. Man. Ooh, the lamb is out on the field and the lamb is very upset and angry and mad. Turn to your buddy. Why is the lamb Angry. What's happening that's making the lamb angry? All right, my friends, stop and turn around. Oh my goodness, stopping and turning around. William, where are you? William, could you please tell us what's happening to the lamb? Why is he upset and angry? Oh, maybe he's really mad and he wants to kick someone. Well, you know what? Instead, we want to make it. We want to make it like a Disney movie. Okay. So something could happen to the lamb that could make him upset and angry. Now pretend like he's eating. 
It could be something like maybe he hears something and it hurts his ears, or maybe something is really hot and makes him hot, or maybe something, I don't know, wind, something could have bit him. Could we use, could we use a bee, a bee bit him on the nose? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my, stung him on the nose. Is that proper? Everyone go, proper English. Proper English. I love it. So let's put the bee there. A bee stung him on the nose. All right, let's go back and read our story. Are we ready? Right there. That's where it is. And am I making it a big art project or is it a fast sketch? Fast sketch. Fast sketch. This is just great. Are we ready, my friends? Go. One day, out on the field, a little lamb was angry because a bee stung him on the nose. Oh my goodness. All right, my friends. Now, everybody go like this. Say, add fancy words. Add fancy words. Let me go to my picture. Let's see. When I add fancy words, everybody go like this. Say, you can't describe everything. You can't describe everything. Only, only the important parts. Only the important parts. So let's see. Here's one part of the sentence that's important, the lamb. So I'm going to put an X there. So one day out in the field, a lamb was stung by a bee. Ooh, a bee is important on his nose. That's another thing in the sentence that's important. So the lamb, the nose, or the bee. Turn to your buddy and tell them which one do you want to describe. Now hold on. When I am describing something, what's the most important thing for a reader to see there? The bee, his nose, or the lamb? Go. Tell your buddy. The lamb. The lamb. All right, my friends, turn around. Okay, Alexandra. Go ahead, Alexandra. What's important to describe in our sentence? The lamb. The lamb. How are we going to describe the lamb? How he feels or what he looks like? In this sentence, if he's stung on, a, on his nose, how would you explain, um, how would you describe him? How he feels or what he looks like? How he feels. How does he feel if he was stung on the nose? You want to kick it up a notch? Everyone go like this, say mad. Mad! Now kick it up a notch. Ready? Everyone go like this. Oh. Angry. 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 Livid. Livid. What does livid mean? I know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just heard someone say that livid means that you're really mad. Turn to your buddy again. Say angry. Angry. Livid. Livid. Mad. Mad. Turn around. I'm going to give someone a vocabulary lesson right now. Let's see if I can test somebody. Ashton, where are you? Ashley. Ashlyn, sorry, Ashlyn. I can't. I don't have my glasses on. Ashlyn, could you please tell me what livid means? Um, it means you're really, really smart. Oh, man. Everyone go smarty. smarty. All right. So let's do it now. Ready, everyone? Go. One day out on the field, a livid lamb. Oh, my goodness. A livid lamb. That sounds good, doesn't it? Or do we want to say a lamb was livid? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Ready? Go. One, one day, out on the field, a livid lamb. What did he do? On his nose. Was stung by a bee or... Ouch. Ready, everybody? Go. One more time. Go. One day out on the field, a lamb was livid when he got stung by a bee on his nose. When a bee stung him on his nose. All right, now, my friends, we have our story opening. Now, can I just say something really quickly to you? If somebody was reading your book that you're writing here right now, and that's the story opening, I don't know about you, this is so good. I know that other kids, when they read this, they're going to want to keep reading. I mean, you find out a bee stung them on his nose, are you going to go, oh, yeah, whatever. Or you're like, oh, let me find out what happened next. Is this exciting? Yeah. Okay, so now we have our, everybody go, story opening. Story opening. Now we need to do actions, 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 till the story's done. What are we going to do? Action, 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 till the story's done. All right, so now we're going to do our actions. So everybody say... Everybody go like this. Say, make an action box. Make an action box. So now I have to go to my next action. Do I make two boxes or one? One. The actions only have one box. So now this is what you do when you have an action. Everyone go like this. Say, what happened next? What happened next? After he was stung on the nose. After he was stung on the nose. 
Should we make it interesting? Should we make it interesting? <laughs> okay. Pick a card. Don't pick Mad. Oh, we, we, we'll take Mad away. Sad. We got sad. Sad. sad and lonely? Wait a minute. Which one do you want, sad or lonely? Um, lonely. Lonely. Okay, lonely. I feel like no one's my friend. I feel like I don't have anyone to play with. Who's going to be lonely in the next action? Oh. The bee? Or the lamb? The bee. The bee. The bee? Yeah. The bee. Turn to your buddy and tell them what happened. Why is the bee lonely? Why does he feel like he's all alone? All right, stop. Turn around. Can I just tell you something? It is so hard to stop. You are like grown ups. You just stop and you turn right around. And when I choose somebody, everybody just listens to them. Wow. Natalie. Okay, Natalie, why? What happened? The, 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 bee, um, the bee stung him on the nose, so he was all alone, and no other friends wanted to play with him because he stung a lamb, a nice lamb on the nose. Hold on a minute. So when he stung the lamb on the nose, what did the lamb do to him? Did he say, thank you, friend? Did no, he say that? No. What did the lamb? He said, I won't be your friend anymore. Let's figure something out. Are we ready? Or I don't like you, bee. That was mean. Oh, shoo. Shoo, bee, shoo. That was mean. Oh, my goodness. Let's do it. Let's have the lamb here talking. So now watch what happened. Did we decide to have an action just now? Whoops, an action just now for our next action? Or did we decide to have the lamb say something? The lamb say something. All right, so now the lamb is going to say, what did you say now? You said shoo? Shoo. Okay, let me have my talking bubble. Ready? Everybody go like this, say quotation mark. Quotation mark. That goes around the part, the talking part. That goes around the talking part. So the talking part was, he said, shoo, be, shoo. You are me. What about you are a meanie? You are a meanie. Oh my goodness, that sounds even better, doesn't it? Okay, ready? Let's go back and read the whole thing. Ready, everyone? Go. One day, go. One day, I want to feel a livid lamb, or a, do you want to just say a lamb was livid? Let's do that way. Ready, go. One day out on the field, a lamb was livid when a bee stung him on his nose. The lamb, uh-oh. Woo, woo, woo. Redundant, please. Redundant, please. Good writers can't keep using the same important words. I can't keep saying lamb, lamb, lamb. What's another way to say lamb? He or she. You want to say that? She. Okay. She. she? Okay. He. She said Okay? She, We're going to do she this time. Look at how my friend just went, okay. Wow. Let's look at our friend and say, wow. Wow. Did he make a big deal about it? No. no. Eyes up here. Let's do it again. Ready, friends? Go. One day, out on a field, a lamb was livid when a bee stung her on the nose. She said, shoo, bee, shoo. You are a bee. I love it. Everyone put your hands on your shoulders. Do we need another action? Yes. So let's do it. Ready, everyone? Say, what happened next? What happened next? After the lamb told the bee that she was, that it was a meanie. What's going to happen next? Do you want to make it interesting? Yes. Okay, now hold on a minute. I need to wait, take away sad, and I need to take away angry. I can't have any of those. All right? Pick a card. Yeah. I never got a chance. Oh, look how my friends are just... What happens next? Who's going to be happy? happy Just one of them excited, or both of them? Excited, excited. The lamb. Turn, turn to your buddy. Why is the lamb happy? All right, my friends, turn around. I can't wait to find this out. I can't wait. Um, Lucas. Did I say the name correctly? Lucas. 
is that the greatest ending? I think yeah. Everyone look at my friend and say, that's a peace builder ending. That's a peace builder ending. All right, let me put my action box. The bee felt badly. Everyone say, the bee felt badly. Oh, now if you sting someone, is it going to be there anymore or is it going to be gone? Okay, ready? The bee, the bee fell badly and said, Do we need to add one more action? Yeah. yeah. Okay, will you be my friend? All right, everyone go like this. Say, what happened next? What happened next? What happened at the end of the story? Go, what tell the person. All right, my friends. Turn around. Danny. Danny. Daisy. 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 Mrs. Betsy needs to put her glasses on, huh? They're just on my head. Not in front of my eyeballs. And I need to do that. Okay, you know what I'm going to do, Daisy? Mm -hmm. We're going to take this up a notch. I have a lot of talking here. Let's make this an action. If they're going to be friends, what would they do at the end to show their friends? Oh, be good. Tell me, oh, hold on one second now. Shall we be fifth graders? So we're all going to stop and we're going to look at our friend Daisy. They're going to play with each other. What would they play? Were you going to say that? Everyone go. Break minds, think alike. Okay, let's put like arrows, like they're playing tag. Okay? So then could we say, after that. After that. Oops, I need to write the word that. After that, they play tag. Do they play tag just for a little while or all day long? All day long. And is that a great ending? I love it. Everyone go, love it. Love it. Let's add that then. Ready? Here we go. One day. Ready? Go. One day, a living lamb was stung on the nose by a bee. She said, shoo, bee, shoo. You are a bee. The bee fell badly and said, I'm so sorry, lamb. Will you be my friend? After that, they play tag for the rest of their lives. Does that sound like a great story? Yeah. Give yourself a round of applause. All right, my friends, now watch what we're going to do. Are you ready? We are going to, we are going to take our first sentence, the story opening, and we're going to have different people come up here to write it up on the board. And then that sentence can go into a book because eventually in about ooh, one, two, three, four days, this could turn into a big and other people can read it. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Now, am I going to be able to just pick anybody or do I pick a stick? Pick a stick. When someone comes up here to write, do you yell out the word? No. Or do you write it with your finger in the carpet? I want everyone, put your finger up. Sharpen the pencil. Put your hand on your lap and put your finger in the air. This is your writing finger. I want you to write the word the in the carpet. Are you ready? Go. T-H-E. The. You say it. T-H-E. The. Look up at the board. If I'm writing the word the, here it is. T-H-E. You do it again in the carpet. Go. T-H-E. Say the word the. The. Ooh, now I'm going to write a word that maybe I don't know how to write, okay? So I have to say it slowly. I don't know how to spell it. I'm going to say it slowly. So let's say that the word is, oh, I don't know. Um, excited. Excited. Ooh. How about we do, you know what? Hold on one second. Let me do something really quickly. Let me show you. Just I'm just showing you what you do when you don't know how to spell a word. How about I do, um, how about, yeah, we're going to sound it out. Okay, but what if I do the word boat? Everybody say boat. Boat. Now, I want you to put your hands up like this, and I'm going to have slow-mo man come. Everybody say slow-mo man. Slow-mo man. Helps me say a word slowly. 
helps me say a word slowly. So I can write down the sounds I hear. So I can write down the sounds I hear. Ready? Say boat. Boat. Now let's say boat slowly. Ready? Go. Boat. Now do slow moving again on your own. Go. Boat. Now we're going to tap our arm. Ready? Go. Boat. 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 What would I hear? Oh, 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 T. And you know what? There's an A here, but we don't hear it. We'll learn about that later if we don't know yet. And what word do we have? Boat. All right, now we're going to write up on the board our first story opening. Everybody go like this. Say, the lamb, the lamb was livid when a bee stung her on the nose. Ready, go. A lamb was livid when the bee stung her on the nose. Now I'm going to have someone come up and I'll choose a name. So let's see, do you need to raise your hand? No. Nope, because I'm just going to pick a stick, because that's fair. Come on, go, that's fair. That's fair. All right, I keep picking the people that I've chosen before, huh? Reese, have I chosen you yet? Come on up, Reese. Now, Reese, we're going to write over here on the board, the lamb. Are you ready? Go ahead. One day. Oh, now, am I going to, oops, should we say one day? A lamb? Okay, let's write one. Sorry. One. Sorry, let's all. Hold on one minute. Are you ready? Everyone say, one day. One day. So what were you going to write? One. one. Write it in the carpet if you know how to write it. <gasps> Did you hear her? She's like, oh, should I write day? Is she a brainiac? Everyone go brainiac. Brainiac. Now, I'm going to do something for a minute. Are you ready? Could you write, just because we need room, could you write it again a little smaller? Look at her like it's no big deal. Do you see how all my friends are looking straight up here? Write the word one in the carpet. Everyone, go. All right. One day. Uh-oh. Everyone say day. Ready? Day. 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 Now, let me do something. Are you ready? Stop for a second. I'm going to make you a high school student. High Look school over here. Student. Say day. 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 What's the first letter? Go to the D. We always write the green ones unless we know the rule. What do we do? We always write the? Green. Unless we know the? Rule. So, is this the beginning of a sentence? Yeah. Is day at the beginning of a sentence? No. Is day the name of somebody? No. So, we are only going to use what color? The? Green. Put the green one there. Can you believe her? She's like a high school student. My D goes this way. Can you make your D go that way? Oh my goodness, and is anybody saying anything? Is she fixing it on her own? What a smarty. That's what good writers do. Oh my goodness, could everyone look at her and say, wow. Go sit down, smarty. Give me that top. Look at her. Can you believe her? Writing one day so quickly. Here we go. Ready? Go. One day. Ready? A. Write the word A on the carpet. Go. A. Are you writing the red one or the green one? Green. green. Oh. <coughs> Wait a minute. Stop. Hold on. We'll make that an A. Stand there. Everyone, turn to him and go, high school student. High school student. I am going to make you a high school student right now. Are you ready, Michael? Watch this. Michael, watch. Michael Carly. is Carly. nice. Michael is nice. Which one looks right, Michael? How am I supposed to write it? Which one? This one or this one? That one. Okay. So I'm going to erase this one, and we're going to go to this one. Now, I want everybody, here's Michael's name. I want everybody to make Michael's name come alive. Well, look how my friend is coming over here and sitting, because that's what we do in school. Do you see how we do that? See how you're scooting forward even more? See how you're scooting forward even more? Keep going. Look at that, falling directions. Now, watch what I'm going to do. Here's Michael's name. Put your hands up and go like this. Say, come alive. Come alive. All right, Michael's name is going to come alive now. Watch what his name says. Hey, this is my name, Michael. And these are all the letters in my name. We're like a family. We're supposed to be snuggled together. Uh-oh. <laughs> Everybody, are his letters snuggled in his name? Yes. yes. So now, we're snuggled together, and we live in a house. 
That's my name. All our letters are snuggled together. We're a family. We live together in a house. Uh-oh. <laughs> now watch. Look at is and nice. Everyone say, what are you going to do, Michael? What are you going to do, Michael? This is my house with my name in it, and I'm very upset because is and nice is trying to get in my house. Everyone go like this. Say, move over. Move over. You can't be in his house. You can't be in his house. All right, says is. So is moves next door. All right. Now, can nice be in Iz's house, or does nice have to move move over? Nice has to move. Then say it, everyone say it. Say, move over, nice. Move over, nice. Uh oh, look what nice does. Does he moves way down here? Look what Iz says. I said, move over. You're my next door neighbor, not live down the street. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me get rid of your house now, because that's an invisible house after we draw it. So now, does that look okay? So look no. at day. Here's day. Can A be in, in day's name, or does it need to move next door? Is he great? He's like next door. Everyone go, because he's a high school student. Because he's a high school student. And look how all my friends are looking straight up here. A, and you know what? My A goes like this. My A goes like this. It goes stick, <coughs> circle. Can you do that? Stick, circle. And did he use the green or the red A? He used the green. A, lamb. Now that's kind of down the street. Can you make it more of a next door neighbor? A uh, lamb. Oh, everyone say lamb slowly. Ready, go. Lamb. Lamb. Oh, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> lamb. What do you hear? That's a bee. What? Hold on a minute. What do you hear? There's a sound here. Lamb. Mm -hmm. Now, watch up here. I'm going to give you two letters. What would look right at the end of lamb right here? What letter? <gasps> Is he right? Ooh, one, pick one. Pick one of those. Which one? The B or the E? The B. You've got it. Oh my goodness. Does that look okay? Yeah. You wrote lamb. Everyone go, good job. Good job. All right, my friend, take a seat. Could you all please read with me? Ready? Go. One day a lamb. Was, read it for me, was livid when A, B, stung, oop, read it for me, stung him. Is it her or him? Her on the nose. There we go. Now, boys and girls, every sentence has a green light, every sentence has a red light, every sentence has a green light, every sentence has a red light. Green light go, red light stop. Green light go. That's the beginning of a sentence. Is this the beginning? No. Is this the beginning? No. Is this the beginning? Yes. Green light go. Everyone say, green light go. Green light go. Ooh, do you see how your hands are in your lap? Do you see how your hands are, hands are in your lap? There we go. So now, green light go. Everybody go like this. Go, green light go, capital. Green light go, capital. So that O has to be a little O, or does it need to be a capital? Yeah. Do, you see how, do you see how your hands are in your lap? <coughs> there you go. That's my friend. Making sure he's safe. So, do I need to make a bigger O? No. Yes. Green light O, capital. What happens at the beginning of the sentence? Little O or big O? Big, big. big O. Big O. Now, everyone say red light. Red light. Stop. Stop. That's at the end of the sentence. Is this the end? No. This? No. This? Yes. Period. Mm. What goes at the end? Period. Everyone go like this. Go. Say period. Period. All right, so I'm going to put my period there. I need a red light stop, period. Now, do I have my capital? Yes. Do I have my period? Yes. Read the story sentence for me. Are we ready? Check and make sure you're in reading position. Turn around, legs crossed, hands in your lap, eyes up here. Read for me. Ready? Go. One day. First sentence in our story. Okay, teachers, we did several days here, right? Okay, we did our planning of our story, 15 minutes, wherever you are in the story, you stop, you continue planning the next day. Then, after you have your story planned out, each day you're going to write one of these sentences. And then when we're done writing this, okay, did you notice? If my timer went off after 15 minutes, wherever I'm in the sentence, I'll just finish writing out the rest of the sentence for the day. 
then we're going to write it in our big book and have a picture to go with it. So each day we have a picture. All right? Can we give the kids an ooh? Ooh. And were they great spellers? Yes. Everyone goes, wow, you can spell. Wow, you can spell. You're great storytellers. You're great storytellers. Love it.